everyone. I am on my way to, guess where? Okinawa, Japan. I'm going there for an incentive, for a, I'm going there for an incentive trip with my work for three nights and four days and I'm on my way to Incheon Airport right now and I actually don't want to go. <laughs> but I'll try to have fun. And here's my husband taking my luggage. Because I'm going to take the airport limo. They're all there ready for the limo bus. Exchanged um, around a uh, hundred thousand Korean won, and it came out to be around uh, nine thousand yen. Yes, nine thousand something, and then I got seven thousand seven fifty Korean won back. So okay, it's not it's not too bad, right? Yeah. Now I have to go find my work group because they're meeting at this one location uh, with this tour company called Hana Tour. We're going with a tour company actually and a guide who can take us around. So I need to go find my coworkers. They speak, in, they speak in Korean to you because there's a lot of tourists from Korea uh, and so it was pretty convenient. They still check your temperature, your vaccination cards, or your uh, PCR result for COVID. Uh, but the process is pretty straightforward. It's not very crowded in the airport. So I'm just gonna go to the baggage claim and then go to the hotel. First got there, we walked around this street called International Street of Okinawa, and it's a street filled with a bunch of shops, restaurants, stores, and we even came across a Korean place, a Korean market, but with a bunch of Korean products. And to be really honest, I ate here, and I was just not a huge fan of whatever I had on this trip. So I feel like I can conclude that I do not like Japanese food. <sighs> I just checked into the hotel. This is Hilton Double Tree. And just got one room each. Yes. This is actually my second time in Japan. My first time was a couple years ago to Fukuoka and this is my second time here with my work. Um, it's a little bit different because I'm not completely free. Um, I had to move around in a tight schedule. I had to eat the meals they provided and go to the places they wanted to visit. So I'm not sure if I was able to fully enjoy, but I wanted to um, take advantage of this time while I was there. So I went around and shopped around to buy some snacks from Japan and tried them, which wasn't too bad in my opinion. Not sure if I still like the food and I don't know if they will grow on me but for now I think I like food that is a little bit spicier and has a kick in it but I feel like Japanese food doesn't have that for me but no offense I love their snacks and candy well let me just show you guys around the hotel first this is a window and it looks out to 
the street outside and there's a TV and it kind of turns on as soon as you walk into this room. And it's got a little, little coffee bar. It's very cute. Very Japanese, very cute. And just open it. Yeah. It's got one small, one small chair and a ta coffee table. And they give you a welcome cookie, a chocolate chip cookie that is very famous for Double Tree Hilton Hotels. A little vanity mirror and a double bedroom. Now you walk inside this bathroom. There's a bathtub. It's very tiny, but it's not bad. And they've got shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, all attached to the wall. Everything is just very clean. Very clean. They've got everything on the wall like this. So I feel like they're trying their best to um, utilize little spaces and little corners. Okay, so in Japan, everything's pretty small here. So that's that. They've got a little safe. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe, oh, I think it's a steamer. And then it's got hangers and some shower gown. Yeah, that's it. It's very cozy. Not too crazy big, but it's very cozy enough to stay a couple nights, so it's good. I have to buy this because I forgot cleansing oil. I bought this water and I already drank it because I was so thirsty, but it was so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take some to Korea to give it to my husband. Ah. 
I came to um, an American village and it looks it looks pretty it looks pretty western and there's there's lots of restaurants, cafes, it's by the beach, so it's very romantic. I think it's gonna be more romantic at the night, but my coworkers and I just walked around and now we came to a blue seal ice cream. Uh, apparently this is like the go-to ice cream that you have to try in Okinawa. It's not too bad, but I don't know. I think Hagen does is better personally, but I'm just here just to realize because my feet are hurting like crazy. But this is my second to the last day and I'm going to try to film as much and put it in my vlog and show you guys around. So for those of you who know, as I've told earlier, I came here with my work. So this is actually my first time being alone in Japan tonight because until now, I, I had to be with them every single day, almost every hour. So I've been looking for this opportunity to just walk around and just look at places by myself, even though I'm not a, I'm not a loner, but I just really wanted to be alone and look at things and freedom instead of like having to go to places with people. So I might have like an hour or two by myself, which made me come out even though I'm extremely tired. I think I'm just gonna uh, go to a family mart, which was the closest to my hotel. I wanna pick up some noodles, some snacks, and look around with some freedom. Um, I wish I had more time, but I need to take advantage of this. So just wanted to open my camera and show you guys around. It's right here. I bought a couple cup noodles for Jordan and I bought myself one snack. I didn't really want to buy a lot of things there. I feel like last last couple of years there have been a lot of imported Japanese goods in Korea so I don't really feel like I have to buy anything except some jellies. Um, and there was this one I think it's acorn jelly that everybody has been talking about but apparently I found out today that you can't really take that into Korea. The reason is because, well, if you, if you take acorn jelly that is just packaged in like a wrapper, that is fine. But if you buy the ones that are in a cup, 
you cannot take them to Korea because they they are afraid that you can put something in that cup so you can't really pass security if you buy a corn jelly that is in a cup so I don't think I bought that I have to go back home I have to go back to the hotel and check but other than that everything has been pretty straightforward I do have to go this way let me check my map I always find these vending machines so romantic for some reason I don't even want to drink anything but every time I look at them in the middle of the street like in the in random streets I just want to like buy them and take pictures in front of them for some reason anywho let me check my map again So much stuff to take back because I bought a lot of cup noodles and they take up a lot of um, space even though I brought like half my carrier empty and my backpack empty so I'm carrying one plastic bag like this hopefully it's okay <laughs> Um, last destination of this trip which is something terrace I'll look up the name later but it's supposed to look like Santorini apparently it's okay it's got some shops restaurants and it's right near the airport so it's kind of convenient we're gonna get lunch here and then head out to um, head out to fly out to Korea most of restaurants here they serve like Okinawan soba and sashimi bowls and uh, I was pretty surprised but they they sell um, taco rice it's pretty famous here but I'm not gonna eat tacos here because I'm a very serious taco eater but yeah let me show you guys around here a little bit So why here? Uh, it's very shiny. I can barely like keep my eyes open actually. So make sure you bring sunglasses or a hat when you come here and visit. Just checked into T-Way. A strength in Japan. Okay, I just returned my Wi-Fi. The airport, you can actually buy a limousine bus, which kind of looks like that. And it takes you like close to your home. And it's only around 11,000 won, which is very cheap. And it goes pretty fast compared to taking like subway or a cab because it just goes on the bus lane. So I'm just gonna take this at 6 p.m. and then finally go home. 